Hello everyone, my name is Arush Kotela. I'm a functional consultant with Western Computer, and welcome to the second part in our series of different project billing rules. Today, we're going to cover the second and possibly the most popular one, which is called progress billing. Progress billing is a method of billing your customer based on what level of progress you've completed on the project. This billing rule can be used both with fixed fee and time and material type projects, but it's primarily used with fixed fee projects. I'm going to show you a little bit of the setup and then how the invoicing works. So I've set up a project here called Progress Building Demo that's still in the created stage. All right, I'm going to go into the project contract and I'm going to set up a new billing rule for this project. So I'm going to choose of type progress. Okay, now with progress billing rules, you can do two things. You can either make it a manual percentage complete where you specify how far I am on the project and bill to that percentage, or you can have the system calculate it. Let me show you how to do the latter. So I'm going to set up my project and I'm going to say that the contract value is $100,000. Oops, sorry, that's a million dollars. All right, and I'm going to pick the project number that I have created. Okay, so if I were to leave it at just that, that would bring us to the manual progress complete. Now I'm going to show you the additional steps in order to have it work with a system to calculate your percentage complete. So I'm going to select the project and move it to my selected projects. And then I'm going to go to my chargeable categories button. Now this is important part of the setup. Here, what you're going to do is you're going to say which categories count as part of my percentage complete. For example, if I have design and I have project support, but I don't want project support to count as part of my completion percentage, I'm simply going to select the design. For this example, I'm just going to use one category. You can use multiple. All right, so now that I have that set up, I'm going to close this, and I'm going to save and close my billing rule. So the way the system determines what percentage you complete is your budget versus actual. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my project budget and I want to say that my original budget for design is $50,000 in cost and $100,000 in revenue. All right. And now that I have my budget, I am going to submit it into workflow. And now we'll just need a few seconds while it approves our budget. You do have the option of setting up proper approvals for your workflow budgets. This can be something along the lines of going to a certain person in the flow saying, is this correct? Do you want this budget? And then having them approve and then finally you can start work on the project. For now, all I have set up is an automatic approval. So in a few seconds, this will be an approved budget and we can proceed. So what the system is going to do is it's going to look at how much of cost do we have against our 50,000 of design cost budget. So for example, if I have $1,000 worth of design cost, that means I've done 2% of my project, and it means I will have the ability to bill 2% of my $100,000 invoicing. For additional information, you can click this the on account transactions. So if we go back to our manage tab, and we look at our on account transactions, this is a list of all transactions we have to bill, and as you can see, our 100,000 from our progress billing has been pulled down into here. So let's go back and check our budget. And we see it's been approved. So let's move this project into process. So you go here into the project tab and the project stage. I'm going to say in process. All right, and my project is now in process. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to book some time against this project. Normally this would happen through a timesheet, but I'm just going to use an hours journal as it will be quicker. All right, and I'm going to pick my category of design. And I'm going to say I worked 10 hours. And if we look at the cost price and sales price, that's $180. To make the math a little easier, I'm going to make this $200. So that means that we have now done $2,000 worth of 
work. And I'm just going to go ahead and post that. And my journal has been posted. So now, if I go into my contract, so now it comes time to do billing. So your project accountant or whomever is going to go into the project contract and going to create an invoice proposal. And on this contract, we see that we have an invoice amount of $4,000 and remaining of $96,000. And that makes sense because we did 4% of our cost, which was 2,000 out of the 50,000 design cost, had been booked, which means we now have 4,000 available to bill. So we can press OK. And you'll see we have an invoice for $4,000. And we can press Post. There we go. Post our document. And we're done. And this invoice has now been sent to the client. So that is how you go about using progress billing. In case you hadn't done the additional setup and you wanted to do a manual percentage, what you could do is under the maintain, we're once again back in the contract, you can hit this manage contract status button. And here we see this rule. And if this had been manual, this update percentage button would have been active. You would click this button and it would ask you simply for a number from between zero and 100. You would enter the number and press okay and then it would allow you to invoice whatever percentage of the 100,000 that you had selected. Thank you for listening to this video. Please contact the support team with any questions that you may have.